Here's the story of why I sobbed in the car a few weeks ago. My name is Hannah Thomas and this is my filmmaking horror story. this video because I am insane. I have homework due at midnight that I haven't even started, but some part of me was like, I have to make this YouTube video, like right now. And then that insane part of me listened. I may fail this homework assignment, but guys, you have to hear this story. It's very inspiring for all filmmakers out there. So sit back and just listen for hopefully less than 10 minutes. If you do not know me, my name is Hannah Thomas and I am the owner of the channel Future Filmmakers. I produce filmmaking content, but that's not all that I do. I also aim to create a community of filmmakers, a place where we all can communicate together and share our projects and get advice from other filmmakers, which is really cool. And I've seen it grow in just a few months, which is really cool to see and it makes me really excited so if you enjoy filmmaking just as much as i do please subscribe comment down below so i can subscribe to your channel follow me on instagram and please dm me so you can be a part of our community of future filmmakers anyway now to the important stuff a few weeks ago i saw the film riot one minute stay at home film contest challenge thing that's really a mouthful but i saw that video and instantly i wanted to film something and submit something to the contest if you do already follow my instagram you probably noticed that there was a lot of like content about behind the scenes appearing in my story when i was working on this project we are taking film riot's quarantine challenge of making a one minute short film indoors Hi guys, so right now I am in my attic and I've never been up here. You can barely see me, this is really poor lighting, but down here there's wood that is pretty thin, so I'm standing on areas of the wood that are in, have braces under them so I don't fall through. Pretty serious here, but all for this because we're filming a short tomorrow and I apparently need a dress. It's actually still in the highlights, in case you're curious and want to go back and watch the behind the scenes of this project, that never happened. So after posting all the behind the scenes content, there was no final post of the finished product. And the reason for this is because I am a college student who was not doing any of her work that week, so I had to shift my priorities, sadly, and I scrapped the entire project. And I was absolutely devastated. After putting my heart and soul into this project and then suddenly having to stop, I felt like a complete failure. But I learned something from that sobbing fit that I had where I completely fell apart in a car and my poor boyfriend had to put me back together. I learned I am a failure. As much as I am a future filmmaker, I am a future failure and that's okay. It's okay because I am one person with a $500 camera and a tripod. A lot of experience writing, but not a lot of experience color grading or with sound design. And yes, I know how to hold and move a camera, but I am no expert. I learn something new every day and I'm like, whoops. I made that mistake last week. I am one person who's learning how to do her dream and I'm going to fail and make a plethora of mistakes. But that's okay. It literally happens to all of us. I am not alone. You're not alone. I want you to stop and think for a moment about how many times you compare your videos to someone else. I want you to stop and think about how you rip apart your videos, criticize them, criticize yourself for not being perfect. Stop and think about how upset you get at yourself when you get 40 views on a video that took over 40 hours. I get frustrated and upset with myself all the time but we need to stop if you're making videos completely by yourself then you're the director the director of photography the actor the writer the producer the editor the color artist the sound designer and anything else that i just missed do you think any professional hollywood set has one person doing all of those jobs no then why be so hard on yourself 
If you take any Hollywood director and ask them to use your equipment and do all those jobs, I guarantee you it would be their worst film. Why? Because filmmaking is about community, not about mastering everything. That's why they say it's not about what you know, it's about who you know. Because you need to know people who are good at what you struggle in. And that's okay. I can't believe I just figured this out like a week ago. I'm, I'm not saying all this to make you feel like your videos are not good. I'm saying this because you're a rock star and your videos literally blow my mind. Because even though they're not perfect, they are so good. And you're doing what you do by yourself or with a small film crew. And that is incredibly impressive. I promise you, if you keep working, learning, and practicing, you're only going to improve. So stop beating yourself up and keep working. If a project fails, it's okay. Come back to it. Or maybe not. It's completely your call. But I guarantee you, you learn something from that failure. Use that to help you and influence you in your next project. Your failures are never a waste of time. Those are just a few words of encouragement for all those people out there who are like me and love to hate on their work. Just a few things that I've learned from my last failure and I hope you guys find that helpful. Now I want to hear from you guys. I want you guys to comment down below any experiences that you may have failed but you learned from them. You learned something very important and fundamental to filmmaking and it shapes you into the person you are today. If I get any responses, I will be sure to post them on my Instagram story. You guys stay safe and sane during this pandemic. I know there's a lot going on. I hope you guys are doing well. Remember that it's our turn to make it happen and I'll see you guys in the next video. I know how to hold a camera and move and yes I know how to hold a camera and move <laughs> why are you saying that that's why they say it's not about who you know <laughs> I mean it's about who you know if a project fell fails that was really good that was not scripted that was really good